Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I'm a cloud advocate working at Microsoft. And as you know, I'm a heavy Azure PowerShell user and I use a PowerShell to create my resources and manage my resources running in Azure. Now, many of you do the same thing and thinking of like, when I write these commands, wouldn't it be great if PowerShell would already predict the command I want to run and give me all the like the parameters uh, and arguments I need to add? Or for example, if I do a sequence of different commands, um, if it predicts like if I run this command, it's highly likely that the next command I'm going to run is this. And so would predict that as well. Now, this very much sounds like future, but I can assure you the future is now when we use the AC predictor tools um, with together with Azure PowerShell. So stay tuned. As you know, um, again, if you create uh, or manage resources. Um, we have the Azure PowerShell module and I can do, for example, um, like commands like create a, a new storage account and then I can, for example, use tab completion to get the different parameters for that specific command. However, again, it still needs a lot of like thinking. I need to know which parameters I actually need to configure. And of course, I could actually use like get help to find all the necessary information I, I need to run here. However, wouldn't it be great if PowerShell would automatically predict what I want to do and give me um, like the command already? So this is exactly where the AC predictor module comes in. Now, this basically goes out and uses some AI technology based on the documentation pages we have and how users leverage that uh, or leverage Azure PowerShell. And predicts these commands. Now to set this up again, while I'm recording this video, um, currently we have AC predictor version two out there or preview version two, if you will. Um, and so whenever you watch that video, it might be a little bit different to install that, but I just quickly want to show you what I'm, what I'm actually running here. So the first thing, what I need, one of the first, um, requirements is I need to run PowerShell version 7.2 preview free or higher to actually make that possible. Um, and then I also need to install the new PS read line. So I have already, uh, oops, PS read line uh, installed here. And again, this is version now 2.2 beta 2. Uh, which I which actually supports this in the current state again in the future it might already be the right version um, for example think about in the future if there is probably a PowerShell version 7.3 you you already get all these uh, stuff or it's already shipped in for example PowerShell version 7.2 I don't know about that but again these are some of the requirements the next thing I need to do is install the module the AC predictor module and this is called the AC tools um, dot predictor. So you can see here, I have that currently installed uh, and you can see here it's preview version two of that module. You can simply run that command. And again, I put all the links to the specific installation steps down in the description below. So when you want to try it out and I highly recommend you do that, uh, you can just follow these steps. So I have, I basically installed all the prerequisites. I'm now basically ready to go and to enable AC predictor, I can just go and write uh, enable AC predictor. And I can now say for all sessions. So whenever I open up a new PowerShell session, um, AC predictor will be installed. So I'm going to run that command. And what I can now do, I can start uh, using um, the AC predictor. So when I now run, for example, here command, you can already see I, by default, I have the inline view. So you can say here, if I do a get dash, it will predict that I probably want to run AC uh, context to actually get like which context I'm running. So because it knows that we probably just start using Azure PowerShell on this specific machine. 
So that is something I want to do. However, in my case, I want to do something different. Like, wanna, let's say I want to create a new storage account. So again, if I do new dash, you can already see here, it actually already um, fills in the line uh, with information here. So in this case, it just says, okay, hey, you probably, the first thing you probably want to do is create a new resource group, right? So this is something it would add and say, hey, okay, highly likely that when you start writing code, you want to have a new resource group. However, I said, I, okay, I want to just create a storage account. So I'm going to add storage account and you can see here what happens. It basically gives me that command and says, okay, look, this is all you need actually to do. Obviously it takes some example um, code. So for example, like Contoso group 02, my storage account, it like just says, okay, East US. So these are all the things you need to modify. So what I can do here is I can press call, uh, I press, for example, my tab and then go and do tab completion and I could just follow whatever I want to run. Now, this is pretty cool again, um, but there is more, right? So this is what the inline view looks like. Uh, the other thing I can set up is the list view. And this is, to be honest, uh, the one thing I like because it gives me much more options. So what I can do here is I can say, okay, I want to set ps read line option and then do the prediction view style and then say list view so now if i do a command i can say new and you can see here already like a lot of different uh, commands listed here and you can see that this now has different options i could now go and basically go through these different commands by just using the arrow keys. And on the right side, you can see actually that this now is a recommendation based on AC predictor. So this is really the AC predictor doing this. Now, when you run this like, more often, when you run more commands on this, you also have the possibility to actually enable history. So when you enable the history, you also get like, if you already run a command in the past, you can actually go out and see that like it says, okay, you run that before you might want to run this again. So it also has recommendations um, there or examples there, which you have run before. So then it would say, okay, that's the history part. So now if I type further AC and then I want to do storage account, you can now see again, I have multiple options here. So I could go and now, um, basically have like that completed. So you can see here after whole completion. However, I obviously want to um, modify this because I, this is just an example resource group, which doesn't really exist. So what I can do is I can press Alt A to jump from argument to argument. So this is pretty cool. So I jump here now and then I have my resource group. So let's do TM test RG. And then I just do Alt A and it jumps, for example, to the story, to the name of the storage account. So I can say Tom's storage and then a couple of numbers. And then I can do old A again. And for example, jump to the location. So I can say, okay, I don't like want West US. I probably want West Europe, for example, or whatever I want. And I can actually jump through the different arguments I need to add. The last one then being actually the, the SKU name. And with then tab completion, I can also, for example, simply uh, use that at this point as well and say just, okay, I want to do this. This is a premium storage account and I can add that as well. So this is the AC predictor uh, module. Again, um, it's very smart. It uses AI technology to actually help me write PowerShell commands. And together with PS Readline, it gets even smarter over time because it also learns from the history of your own commands on your machine um, and makes it obviously way easier for you. Now the history part not just works with Azure PowerShell modules, it also works with all the commands you might run. So if you're working with um, your like with with your uh, PowerShell on your machine or in your on-premises environment where you don't have anything to do with Azure, you can still leverage the history um, um, part of the PS read line to make that work for you as best as possible. 
So I hope this short video gave you a great overview about the AC predictor uh, for Azure PowerShell. Uh, I hope you're going to try it out again right now. It's still in preview. So the team is looking for some feedback. So please try it out, provide some feedback uh, and let me know what you think in the comments. If you like that video, please subscribe, give it a like and see you in the next one.